Okay, today we're doing the foam. I don't know how many sections I'm going to do today yet, but for sure we'll get this section done. I've got this uh, little piece rigged up here to kind of hold back the foam from getting in the center so it can still drain the water. Um, it's just six inches wide. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to use this total boat flotation foam, two-part foam. Um, it's expensive stuff, so you really want to make sure you get it right the first time. And being that it's so expensive, I really only got one shot at it here, so you got to make sure the conditions are right. And um, I've got the boat cleaned up pretty well. Basically, you want your temperature at about 75 degrees, and uh, it really takes off quickly, so you got to act kind of quick when you open it up. We're going to try 20 ounces at a time, so we'll just fill it up to 10 ounces here in each cup. So this is part A. I've got part A. Go ahead and fill it. Perfect. Okay, I got my mixing cup here. My mixing stick. Went to Walmart and this is the smallest one they had, so Looks like we're going to use a big five gallon mixing stick, but it'll work. So dump the part A in. Now we got to act really fast because we only get about 15 to 20 seconds to mix before we have to pour. I've never done this before, so hopefully this works out well. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be too much or what. Whatever I have left over though, I think I'll just cut off the top and then um, put it in with the other grooves here. So we'll just give it a try, see what happens. Alright, so although it is working, it's not really rising to the extent that I was hoping for. Um, I tried another spot here, and it did better, uh, but it's still not that good. So I think I'm going to try something here. I've been doing a little reading. Um, some people are using pool noodles as fillers. Um, basically just cutting them up and putting them in the floor just so there's a little more something there take up space instead of just this foam because I'm already about a quarter of the way through and I have a ton to go. Alright, we're going to try it again here. Got it cranked up to about 80 degrees. We'll see if we can't get a little more uh, use out of our flotation foam here. Otherwise I'm going to have to start ordering more. But we'll give this a try and see what happens real quick. Alright, we're doing 12 ounces of each this time around. Dump them in our mixing container here. Okay. Start stirring them. So it instantly starts to sort of mold itself up here, but What's weird that I don't see on other people's videos when they do this is it'll revert back to a brown color shortly here. And then after that, it'll come back to this milky color. I bought this off of Amazon. It says on the container that it has a six month shelf life. And if I'm reading the date correctly on the bottle, it's almost a year old already. Sort of gotta be. They're not on the ball. Let's 
see what this gives us here. It seems like that's about all it'll give you. Not very impressed. Definitely gonna have to order more. Not too happy with how this is turning out though. I don't know if you can read that date there, but looks to me like it says um, on the six month, 17th day of 2020 expiration date or the at least the manufacture date and we're into May of 2021 so that would be well beyond six months almost a year now so I don't know what to think if it's um if that's why it's not rising as it should but all right we're gonna try it one more time without any of the foam blocks in it we're just gonna see if we can add more at a time um, I've done a little bit of reading and it seems like the more that you do at a time, the better it reacts. So we're going to try and fill up a big uh, two quart bucket and see if we can't get a little better reaction out of it. We'll put the part A in first, because this stuff seems to take a little while longer to get out. All right, and the part B. And you can see here the two pound density is already working a lot better than the six pound density. Alright, so I picked up this bin at Hobby Lobby. It was like 16 bucks or something after tax. And a little lid, this little tray. But all that's getting cut off. And I'm gonna turn this into like a little beer cooler, I think. I'll go right in on the side of the boat. Have a little uh, fitting, pipe fitting on the bottom here where it can drain all of its water and then it'll go right to the back of the boat. Alright, so this is how the cooler will work. So basically I just have it siliconed in and then this every fitting is silicone too just to keep the water from leaking onto the new foam. 
and it just bends around like that and I'll show you here on the one that we've already got done. So this one's been sitting outside for a little while but we just have a little threaded drain plug here. The water can drain out and then it drains down into the back of the boat and then when you pull the plug at the end of the day you can open this one up at the same time and let all the water run at once. Alright, so I just took some angle iron here and built the frame around it and then riveted it all together. Now I've got another whole side done. So you just got your little drain there and that'll go down and out the bottom just like the other side. Alright, so this is going to conclude all the flotation foam. Got everything done here and sawed away so it's level with the ribs. The only thing that I've got left to do is just a little bit on the side bends here, but I'm not going to put that in this video because I still got to order more foam. It took me about three kits um, of the two pound density. Just make sure when you're doing this you order the two pound density and not the six pound density because the six pound density will not get near as much out of and the two pound density actually is pretty strong it, it'll hold up to quite a bit to try and save on some of the foam I just shoved some of the old top parts that I cut off inside of here to kind of help me build it up a little bit subscribe for the next video we'll be putting the floor in and all the carpet